Okay, this is the second test, and it's uh, slightly messed up because I just fired the 16 rounds, and uh, they uh, all went in quite well. None of them jammed. However, I didn't have the uh, uh, video going. However, I'm going to show you the results here in just a second. Uh, the actual test, though, uh, showed me a couple things. One is what I just fired is 126 grain. Did quite well. Did fine. The test I was going to do was going to be a 129 grain. I was going to start working backwards. However, 129 grain is officially too long. So this will not cycle through the magazine and turn. The magazine holds eight rounds. Uh, 129 is a hair too big. I've got a 125 and 128 grain mold on the way. So I'm going to see if 128 grain will fit. Uh, historically, with the BWS 45, slight rounding of the nose is a pretty good thing. It uh, helps to feed. Uh, something that's flat and round, you could get more weight inside there. But if you want it rounded at all, uh, like a typical bullet shape, um, this one is 129 and 129 is too big. So... Uh, 126 did very well uh, as far as cycling goes, and again, I've got two more coming, 125 and 128 mold that I hope to have in this week. Okay, as far as the numbers go, let's see here. Uh, the average, let's see, the average feet per second looks like it was 603. Uh, looks like the uh, average feet foot pounds was 55.2 uh, that was uh, starting out at uh, 701 feet per second and down to 512 feet per second for the 16th shot I don't know how we were able to see that I'll just kind of scan through so that you can see the results there um, so again it cycled just fine what I'm going to try to do is get molds for just about every size for 120 to 128 and see what fits and seems to work well the four or five that I have that fall in there so far, uh, again, the 129 was too big. The 129 hollow point worked fine, but it totally filled the magazine up. So anything with a hollow point bigger than 120 grains, probably not going to fit in the magazine. Maybe I'll try to get one of those in 122, 125, just to make sure. Uh, for solid pellets, the first solid pellet I've tested is 126 grain, and that worked very well. So this is test number two, and there'll be more tests to come. Take care.